<laughs> Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. All right, everyone, let's get it. It's Ian K back again with another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, Cheaters Camp style. After hours here at Dunkin' After Dark to take a look at one of their new Halloween donuts. And with the return of their fan favorite spider specialty donut in the menu, let's just say there's something else on the menu that looks just a little bit more threatening. That's right, and as you obviously know by the title to this review right now, it's the Spicy Ghost Pepper Donut. And I gotta say, this is definitely a little off the wall, and if you're thinking this is a little nuts, guys, you wouldn't be alone in that thinking. I'm kind of thinking the same thing. But this looks really cool. So what we got here is a standard yeast ring donut that's topped off with strawberry icing that actually has a combination of cayenne and ghost pepper spices mixed in with it. And then it's topped off with some sanding sugar to give it a little bit of that red color that you see there. That is really, really nice for presentation. So very excited to give this a go. It seems a little odd. Naturally, it's fried dough with some spicing, so it's not really too crazy, I guess. But given the name, Spicy Ghost Pepper, Ghost Pepper Halloween, I'm digging the theme here, as you guys are probably picking up on my theme right now. This should be a lot of fun. Okay, so before I jump into this one, and like always, if you guys are fans of high quality, delicious looking food reviews, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to tap that bell icon so you can be notified as soon as brand new content drops every week. Guys, here we go one more time. The spicy ghost pepper donut here at Dunkin'. Let's do it. Well? Whoa, guys, do you see I'm filming here? Some people have no respect for the process. Wow, here comes a little bit of heat. That's actually not bad, whoa. It's kind of building, kind of building, and the sugary crystals that I'm getting from that sugar goodness on the top, that sanding sugar, is pretty nice, but this definitely has some heat to it. And of course, that classic donut from Dunkin' here. Let's go in, this is actually not too bad. Believe it or not, I was a little worried about this, but the combination of the fried goodness along with the icing, that strawberry richness that I'm getting, seems like it's working with this, and then the spicing begins to come up. Let's go for another bite. Strawberry flavor is not bad. I mean, it's sweet, but I'm liking that actually. The donut is actually the dominant flavor on top of the icing, and then a little bit of the heat. This is nothing that's gonna do anything crazy to you at all, but the sizzle is there, and I'm really digging that. That is pretty nice. God, I feel really weird doing this really super late at night right now. You just don't know what's around you, you know, you just don't. But I am really liking the fact that it's the standard glaze type of donut that I get over at Dunkin' once in a while, minus the glaze all throughout, but with that familiar yeast flavor in there. So this is not horrible. I was really kind of surprised, but the strawberry sweetness is light, but the icing is rich. So you're getting a little bit of that nice sugary goodness on the top, and then naturally a little bit of the heat is coming up. I wouldn't say that it's like crazy ghost pepper or cayenne. I really can't tell the difference, but there is sizzle with this. And that's really kind of the main thing. It's spicy. So it is actually delivering on what that is. And take another look at that there, guys. Really digging the granular look of the sugar on the icing there. But that is not too bad. I'm really kind of surprised. So let's go for one more bite real fast. Mm. All right, calm down. Just calm down. I'm really surprised. I'm not hating this at all. This is actually not bad. Standard donut over here at Dunkin'. I mean, it's kind of like the usual MO for their donuts. And then you get a little bit of that strawberry icing with some sizzle. So this is not too bad. I got to admit, don't let the name scare you off on this one. And honestly, it kind of works. I mean, I'm kind of digging the fact that it's like a strawberry flavor. I don't know how this would have worked with, say, like chocolate, something like that. I guess in terms of a delivery system, having a fruitier type of flavor with some heat on the back end is actually kind of the way to go. So it's not bad. So another close up of this one here, as you can see, the fluffiness is there. This is super fresh right now. And I got to admit, guys, not bad for a novelty donut. And I got to say, you know, this is like my favorite time of the year. I think you guys know it wearing the Michael Myers shirt and everything. Although I do like that spider specialty donut, it's basically just a donut hole on the top of a regular donut anyway with some glaze. This is actually not bad for what it is. So it does deliver the sizzle. Don't let that ghost pepper name fool you there, but it is really, really fun for the holiday naturally because of the ghost being in the title. So decent. All right, so before it gets any later than it already is right now, because I really don't feel safe being out at this point in time right now, maybe it's just my shirt that's drawing attention for certain things around me right now, I'm gonna have to give the spider ghost pepper donut over here at Dunkin' a pretty decent seven out of 10. I mean, guys, it's a novelty donut, it is what it is. The strawberry icing is good, and naturally with the granular sugar giving you a little bit of that type of crunchiness that I'm getting with it, 
it's okay with a little bit of sizzle, a little bit of spice. But again, don't let the ghost pepper name fool you. It's more for marketing, but it does give you the sizzle. It's a strawberry flavored donut. No cream on the inside, obviously. It's definitely a fun treat for the holiday, in addition to that spider specialty donut. So hey, choice is good. You've got something with a little bit of heat. Not bad. Okay, so now the all-important question as I put this one down here right now. Are you going to be giving this one a shot? Are you a fan of spice in general? Does the idea of having spice in a donut kind of scare you a little bit? I mean, this is the first time I've seen something mainstream like this from Dunkin' that gives you a little bit more of quote-unquote threatening heat. What do you guys personally think? Drop some comments down below. What are your favorite types of donuts in general? And is Halloween your favorite time to really have these types of things? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Hour Reviews, Cheaters Camp Style, here at Dunkin' After Dark, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So I stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. All right, real talk. Thanks to the magic of editing, you guys pretty much don't see a lot of the stuff that goes on around me sometimes when I'm putting my stuff together. Because I gotta tell you, there's a lot of distractions that pop up once in a while that can really kind of throw me for a loop. And it's nice to know that no matter how hard people may try or things may try to distract me, I'm all about getting to that end result to give you the quality content that you deserve. All right guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for checking out another one of my reviews. But just in case you didn't see the one before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.